Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm from Lies Spirit Company. Lies is a range of alcohol-free liqueurs and spirits. And today I'll be talking to you about Lies Spirits number two. Where I am at the moment, it's sunshiny and beautiful. And all I want to do is sit outside in the sun with something cool, refreshing and delicious. And exactly what this drink is. I'll talk to you about the ingredients we need, the equipment, and of course, how to make the drink itself. The ingredients that we require are a lovely bottle of dry London spirit. This is our gin equivalent. We've got a really fantastic base of juniper, as we have with all gin spirits, and then some beautiful high floral white jasmine notes and a touch of zesty pink grapefruit at the end. This pairs almost too well with a bottle of the Liars Italian Orange. This is everything citrusy you could ever want in a bottle. Red grapefruit, pomegranate, but the main flavour is going to be blood orange. The juice, the zest and the bitter, bitter pith. If you love bitter aperitifs, this is going to be the bottle for you. To finish this drink, we will also need yuzu soda. Now, I don't know about you, but in the UK, I can't really find that, especially not in lockdown. But I'm going to be using instead is San Pellegrino. I've gone for the blood orange, because blood orange, but the pomelo, the grapefruit, the lemon, any sort of citrusy, fruity flavours are going to work really, really well in this drink. Equipment wise, it's super, super simple. We've gone for a wine glass, and if you don't have a wine glass, a mug, any sort of vessel to hold liquid, and then something to measure it out with. I've got a jigger here, but if you have an egg cup, that works perfectly well too. I'm going to be talking in parts as well, because this is super simple to make, like I said. Now, onto the recipe itself. We're going to be needing 30 ml or one part of Liars Dry London Spirit. Pop that in. 30 ml or one part again of our Italian orange. Such a bit of colour that. And then 90 ml or three parts of our San Pellegrino or Yuzu Soda. Now I'm going to measure it in just because I love to be super accurate about these things. But if you do fancy a bit more stronger, wanting those flavours to shine through, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more. At the end of the day, Liars is about making your drink your way, so please pop in as much as you fancy. So again, that is 90 mils usually, and a little bit more. Beautiful. I'm going to put some ice in there. Um, excuse my fingers, it is for me. Some nice big chunks of ice, meaning it doesn't dilute too much. Go on in one more bit. And then just a little stir around. Make sure we have everything incorporated. And then to garnish, I'm going to go for a couple of slices of lemon and a couple of slices of pink grapefruit. And it, of course, depends on what you can get. Now. Pop that in down the side, gorgeous. I'm gonna pop one in down here as well. Oh, hello friends. Put you there. And then another one around here, I think. And then finally, a bit of thyme. Got it from the garden, don't worry if not. Smack it, just to wake it up a little bit and pop it in there. That looks so beautiful. Let's give it a taste. Cheers guys. Mm. And that is everything I want it to be. The nose is incredible. It's zesty, it's fruity, and it's not overly sweet. Really lovely and refreshing, and I can't wait to enjoy one outside. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this, but I'd really love to hear from you. Have you have you got your soda? Have you tried it with it? Have you tried it with any other flavoured soda? Let us know how you make it your way. And we would really, really love it if you could please follow us on Instagram. We're at Liar Spirit Co. And if you have enjoyed this video, then do like and subscribe to our YouTube videos where you'll find how to make a lot of other lovely recipes just like this. I'm going to go enjoy this outside, but to everybody out there, stay safe, most importantly, stay spirited.
Hey guys, hope you're all doing great and thanks very much for tuning in to Alliance Non Alcoholic Cocktail Class again. So, this week over in Hong Kong, it's super hot and humid, and that really gets me raving about a beach holiday. But again, we can't really go anywhere, so I've decided to put on my sunglasses and I'm gonna make a pina colada to cheer myself up. So, here we will need some uh, pineapple that's been cut into chunks. It's it's always best to use fresh fruit, but I'm feeling a bit lazy to cut up a whole fruit, so I'm cheating with a canned version, which is okay too. Just remember to tip off all the syrup before using them. So we will need about six pieces of chunks straight into the shaker. And we want to give everything a good model. So if you don't have a model like this, uh, you can use a fork or back of a spoon. The idea is to really, you know, get all the lovely juice out from the fruit. Give it a good smash until you see the juice oozing out and you start to get a really lovely pineapple smell. Got to check it. So next we will add in our Lyas White Cane Spirit. This is essentially our non-alcoholic version of a white rum. So it gives you all the aroma of molasses, vanilla, apricot, you know, sweet tropical aromas. And it's, a, it's amazing in the mojito or you can use it in a simple drink like rum and coke. So today we are going to use 75 ml of our White Cane Spirit. that in pineapple and next up we have some coconut water here so in most versions of pina colada people would use um, coconut milk but today I want to show you a healthy low calorie version that won't ruin your beach body it's very important that you know we keep ourselves in shape and once we're allowed to go out and we want to look good you know in our swimsuit so uh, we will need 75 ml as well so equal portion with a white cane. It gives you the same sweet nutty flavor coconut, but just none of the fat. So, and finally, we will need a bit of simple syrup just to give it like sort of a like sweet lift. I'm using about twenty ml here. Then we add in some ice cubes. We don't want to add it too early because it's too easy for the ice to melt, especially in this hot Hong Kong weather. And you don't want to get our flavor too diluted. So you just have to get everything a good shape. So once you feel that the shaker is nice and cold and you see some frost on the surface, then it should be uh, pretty much the perfect temperature. And we just have to grab our serving glass and then we strain everything in. Dress it up a little, and voila! Here we have our very simple, refreshing, skinny beach body pina colada. Hmm. So it really gets all the very lovely tropical note, you know, from the pineapple and coconut water, and the white king spirit here really lifts up the whole tropical profile and adds a lot more character to the drink with this uh, spiciness and roundness. It's really a perfect drink to sip on the beach or when you're dreaming about the beach, uh, dream about your suntan, maybe the lovely smell of seawater, which I'm sure we'll get to enjoy again very, very soon. So 
So thanks very much for watching and I hope we all can stay spirited and support each other throughout this challenging time. Thank you. Buongiorno! I'm Amber Shaw with Liars Non-Alcoholic Spirits coming to you as a brand ambassador with two amazing classic cocktails. We are going to have a Liars Amaretti or Amaretti Sour or aka Amaretto Sour. The history of the Amaretto was an Italian family in the 18th century that made these cookies and everybody loved the cookies and so they started to make this liqueur with the Amaretto cookies for all the kings and queens of that time. And obviously to this day, we still know, and some of you may even know the Amaretto Sour is your first cocktail. I find it to be very amazing as a digestif after dinner. And for liars, it is a less calorie cocktail. So if you've had a heavy pasta dish or even a steak dinner, it's the perfect combination for that afterwards. So I've actually shake, I actually already added the ingredients because there is such a rapid shake involved with the egg white, but just to give you um, the, the recipe, we started with the Amaretti, two and a half ounces, and we did saw, we did one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, one teaspoon, or excuse me, one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, and one teaspoon of simple syrup, some bitters, and then I used an actual egg white. So I've already actually got that rapidly shaped already. I'm just gonna do that a little bit more for you and get that perfect place of foam. And then we are going to place that in our glass. And look at that beautiful foam. It's the best part of the cocktail. All right. And then we just add a filthy black cherry and place that in the glass. And it's absolutely delicious. All right, salute. Mm. So good, oh my God. Tangy, tangy spice, nutty, vanilla, absolutely delicious. All right, and our second cocktail for this evening is my favorite. Again, this is a lower calorie cocktail maybe minus the ice cream. So we're gonna actually take a scoop of ice cream, a couple scoops actually. It's... This is a affogato, as we would like to say. And affogato means drowned. When you take ice cream and then pour hot espresso coffee, it automatically gives it this foam. And then we're going to take two ounces of our coffee liqueur. And place that in there. And I've also got some European chocolates. And any kind of toppings that you like, you can kind of place on there. I, I pretty much just love everything. I have a sweet tooth and so here we are. Isn't that just look delicious? Salute! I don't even know if I used to take a spoon or I actually drink this. I don't know what to do. Oh my God. That is so amazing though. Oh, so good. I will be eating this afterwards. <laughs> All right, so you get espresso and spice and caramel and just lots of toasted note flavors. Um, vanilla ice cream is the normal base, but you can use any, any kind of ice cream that you like or you have in hand at this moment. Um, so yeah, thanks for having cocktail time with me again and I look forward to seeing you again. If you would like to order any of the Liars non-alcoholic spirits, you'll be able to go to bedmo.com, liars.com or liars.co. And remember to stay spirited with the hashtag stay spirited as well as follow my liars or liarbations at liarbations and my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and there'll be more of these videos to come. So stay healthy, stay safe. Ciao.